Hi there to the kids of Living Waters. I miss you. I miss getting to go in and do Kids Church with you. And I know you guys are at home and some of you might miss Patty. So I have a special story for me and Patty today. I felt like this one was especially good because of what we're facing right now. It's about facing storms and fear and not knowing what's next. I know that uh, we may, might end up having school from home the rest of the year and we're all just wondering what's going to happen and just knowing that Jesus is with us. Knowing that God is with us and we are going to be okay. So uh, I have Patty coming out and we're going to tell a story from the Bible about how Jesus is with us no matter what we face, even coronavirus. I love you guys and I hope I get to see you soon in person for real stay healthy stay well here's everybody here they are i'm so excited um are you ready to say hi to everybody oh my goodness she was so hyper just a minute ago patty patty say hi say hi five more minutes not five more minutes patty 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 what what uh-oh uh-oh is right you fell asleep you fell asleep in backstage oh my goodness i fell asleep in a bag oh i can't believe you fell asleep it's the middle of the day she keeps me in a bag someone called puppet services oh, okay you she's treated very well she's a monster oh i am not a monster she treats me very well patty 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 so we're going to tell a bible story today but i want to know why you're sleeping in the middle of the day why why were you asleep I was tired. Well, I figured that. Why are you so tired? You went to bed at a good time last night. I didn't sleep. Why didn't you sleep? I was scared. What were you scared of? School just started. You're afraid of school? No. Because I thought you liked school. Well. Okay, What what is it about school that you don't like? What is it about school that is scaring you? Let's see. Is it the lunches? No, I like those. Is it somebody that's there? No, no, I got friends. Oh, is it? Don't say it! The M word. Okay. Patty had a few problems last year in math. Oh, she said it! She said a bad word. I did. That's not a bad word. That's not a bad word. Um, she had a few problems last year in math. Wash your mouth out, Missy! <laughs> okay, have you tried praying and asking God to help you with your math? No. Why not? Because God doesn't understand math. Why doesn't God understand math? Because the Bible says there's no evil in him. Okay, God does understand math. Nuh-uh. God invented most of math. He, God understands math. Uh, God's very good at it. You could pray and ask him. Oh, yeah? Well, Jesus fed 5,000 with five loaves and two fish. Doesn't add up. What? Okay. Okay, right. Doesn't add up. But God does understand math. God can defy math at, uh, at certain times. But God understands math. And God can help you with what you're facing. And I have a story that can prove it from the Bible. The three bears! No, not the three bears. Why do you always ask me that? I love that story. But it's not in the Bible. The three bears is not a true story. The stories from the Bible are true, and we can believe them because God put them there for us, and we know they're true. So this is a true story from the Bible. Not the three bears? No, not the three bears. That one's not in the Bible. She's also a bear hater. She's a monster. I am not a monster, and I don't hate bears, but there's no bears in the story. Anyway... So Jesus and his 12 disciples, they were crossing this huge, huge lake, big, big lake, think like the Great Lakes, and they got in a boat. The Titanic! No, not the Titanic. No, you are ruining this story. No, it is not the Titanic. It was just a, a fishing boat, but it was two levels. And they were going across the water when something terrible happened. They hit an iceberg! We're going down! Linden and Puppets first! Oh, Patty, only dog paddle! Calm down! I'm freaking out! No, no, no. There's no iceberg. There's no iceberg. That's that's from the story of the Titanic. No, they hit a really bad storm. Oh, they, what? 
<laughs> yeah, they hit a storm and that boat began to rock back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Stop, 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 stop. What are you doing? I'm going to puke. No, nope, no, 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 don't do, don't do that. Don't do that. So um, there was this terrible storm. I don't like storms. The waves were crashing and the storm was blowing and the lightning crashed and the thunder roared. Okay, speak to me. You need to stop being so melodramatic, okay? So, ugh, there was a terrible storm. I know! And the boat began to sink. There was so much water in the ship that it began to sink. And this was really, really unnerving. And the disciples were freaking out. I know, I'm freaking out! Okay, so they looked at each other and they said, we need to go find Jesus. Let, hold up, hold up, hold up. What? Hold up! What? I would have done that first! They're just now going to find Jesus? Yes! Duh! What? He was down in the bottom of the boat. So they decided to go down to the bottom of the boat. To find the lifeboats? No! There's no lifeboat. What? There's no lifeboats on this boat. This is before lifeboat. Oh my goodness! Yeah, there's no lifeboats. No, <laughs> before lifeboats. Anyway, so they went down to the bottom of the boat to find Jesus. And they found Jesus down there. Do you know what he was doing? I hope he was radioing for help. Help! 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 No. Jesus was not radioing for help. <laughs> there was no radio. Yeah, so there's no radio. There's no lifeboat. <sighs> yeah, so then they woke Jesus up. And they said, Lord, Lord, could we have your life jacket? What? No reason. <laughs> no, no. I don't know if we should tell her that there were no life jackets. <sighs> okay, well, might have been more for her than she could handle. So there's no life jackets, no lifeboats, no radio. That's illegal. Now, this was back before that was legal or illegal. You know, in our town, you got to wear life jackets on the boat, of course. But that, this was before all that. So they woke him up and they said, Lord, don't you care that we're going to die? We're freaking out! Yes. Sometimes we're facing something so big that we don't think it can be uh, fixed and we're freaking out. And they were freaking out like you freak out over math. Don't make this personal. Oh, it is personal. So they go up on the deck and Jesus looks out at that horrible storm. The wind, the waves... All of that storm, yes, that terrible storm, but he's not afraid. He's not? He's not afraid. Seriously? Seriously. Jesus is not afraid. He's looking at the storm, and he knows he's in control. He doesn't have to worry about it. So he says the four words that are going to change their lives forever. You know what he says? Yeah. Boys, we are going to die. No, that is not what he said at all. He did not say we are going to die. He said, peace be still. And instantly, instantly, the water went flat. The water was flat. The sea was calm. The lightning stopped. The thunder stopped. And the storm was completely and totally calm. That, yes, yes, it was pretty impressive. I know, that's why I said, wow. <laughs> yes, so they were excited and they looked at each other and they said, this man must be the son of God. Well, duh. I'm third grade and I know that. <laughs> well, they did. They were figuring out, this is the real son of God. Awesome sauce. Yes, awesome sauce. But they, they realized he's in control. So you see, Petty, it's not about what you're facing this week. It's about who's in your boat. It's not about the size of your storm. It's about who's in the boat with you. Oh. Right. See? So it's not about how bad your math is. Oh. It's about who's there to help you. Yay! <laughs> well, if you pray and ask God for help, he will help you. Will he give me all the answers? No. Facts? Email? Text? 
Instagram. No, he's not going to give you the answers, but he will help you with studying. Oh, the study word. And you know what? While we're at it, I can help you with your math. You? Yes, me. I'm doomed. Hey, pastors don't understand math either. What do we not understand about math? All, all the time, you guys are making church lurk with no budget. <laughs> yeah, well, it's a miracle, not math. Okay, well, maybe you have a point there. But, Patty, God can help us no matter what we face. And even our friends watching today, whatever they're facing in their lives, it doesn't matter how big that storm is. It matters who's in your boat with you, who's helping you. So, Patty, this week as you're facing math, ugh. Take me home, Lord. <laughs> what are what are you going to do? What is the point of this story we just told? I'm going to wear my life jacket. <laughs> no, you, you don't need to wear your life jacket at, at school. Do you know? Were you there? I don't think so. Okay, you don't need to wear a life jacket at school. But you should pray and ask God to help you study and help you remember. And God will help you face whatever your storms are that you're facing this week. Well, that is pretty cool. Yes, that is pretty cool. In fact, it warrants a laugh. Okay, yes, that, that's pretty impressive. So, Patty, why don't we say goodbye to all of our friends out there who this time you got to join me. Oh, yes, that made it awesome. But you said I could sing. I, I did not tell her she could sing today. Yes, she did. I did not. You did. I did not. You did not. I did too. Oh! You just got me, didn't you? I did. Okay. We're going to sing. Okay, take us out on a high note. I want you to say something happy to brighten their day. Sing something happy and make it quick. Shh. Hey. I'm going to be on American Idol. Oh, I don't think so. Stop crushing my dreams. Oh, my goodness. She's a monster. Patty, just hurry up and sing. This is a little song that lives in with Pastor Trish. Hey. Nobody knows the trouble I see. Come on now, Patty. Shh. Nobody knows my sorrow. Seriously, really? Shh. Nobody knows the trouble I see. Ow! Nobody knows but Jesus. Okay, let's take it in first. Say that as a part. No, 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 no. That's okay. That's okay. Thank you all for coming to this episode of the Peach Buzz that Patty got to help me co-host. I'm hosting. You co-hosted. Okay. Sounds good. But we hope we see you next week on the Peach Buzz. God bless. And let us know what you want to see next. This was somebody's suggestion. They wanted to see Patty and I do one of our Bible stories here that they could show for church. Put your suggestions below. More Patty! Less monsters! Okay. Hmm. She's so spoiled. I don't know what she's talking about. Ow! So, we will see you next week on the Peach Buzz. Have a wonderful week. Thank you what you do for Jesus and his kids. Have a great time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.